Hey, it's a Cutterwolf, and today we'll be building a simple and efficient Minecraft auto crafter for flint and steel. This is especially useful if you have fire spread turned off in your world but still want a portal ticking gold farm. This design will craft flint and steel as fast as possible until you have a full buffer barrel, then automatically turn off. It'll also turn off if you run out of either iron or flint. For this build, you will need one crafter, one barrel, one sticky piston, one repeater, two droppers, not dispensers, two observers, two redstone torches, three hoppers, three comparators, 19 redstone dust, 17 building blocks of your choice, then to make life easy, two item frames and of course flint and iron ingots. You will need an area four wide, nine long and four tall positions so that the hopper connecting to your farm or storage is on one of these quartz blocks. This is how the final build will look. So you're going to have these three central ones and then you can either run it on the right side or you can run it on the left side. I'll build it so that it's running on the right side. So let's start by putting the hopper going to where we want the final thing to end up. It could be temporary. Crafter on here, so this is going to go into the barrel. The barrel functions as a buffer so that you always have plenty of flint and steel ready for your farm. Let's put down two blocks on either side. These can be temporary or they can stay, whichever it does not matter. So we are doing two droppers facing in like so. And then let's crouch and put the barrel there. We then need a solid block behind each of these droppers with a comparator coming out of each. And I want this to be two blocks long until the torch. So we have two here. This is so that it doesn't wait until the whole thing is completely empty. Let's put our redstone dust on both of these. Solid block into the end of the redstone dust with a torch at the back of each of these. So the purpose of this is to turn the farm off if you run low on either iron or flint. So while there's plenty of uh, iron or flint in either of these, this comparator will be activated, which will turn the torch off. You'll see that in a second. But the reason why we have two dust here rather than going straight into a block is because we don't want this to get completely empty because if it does, there will be another pulsing, which will cause this to get rid of the last iron or flint that is in here. And as a result, you'll end up with either two iron or two flint in your recipe, which will result in either a weighted pressure plate or nothing and you have to pull it out and it's just do it this way yep <laughs> okay so to complete this section we have this here so when either of these torches is on the redstone dust will be on which will then power our sticky piston easiest way is to just do this and then get rid of that you're going to need to get rid of that so then we have an observer facing this way and an observer facing into this part so once these two torches go off, it's going to drop this and it's going to start the clock. Now you could just run a redstone line straight from this observer into here, but you will run into a few issues, which I'll describe in a second. So we have one down, have one there, and actually let's just do this. Like so. Kind of like this, a little bit up and down and up and down. So you want to have a redstone repeater here on two ticks. You can have it more than two ticks, but you want it at least two ticks. The reason why when this is crafting, it will be pushing one at a time if it gets low. And so you'll have this situation where the observer is going up and down, up and down, up and down. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's annoying. So having that on two ticks solves that problem. So then we put two redstone dust, one here and one here, so that when this is active, it will then be firing into here. Let's show this in action. So when the farm is active, it's going to be going down here. This redstone dust then powers the crafter and the two droppers on either side. So it's crafting and at the same time, it's pushing in one item from either side. So it's a pretty cool system. Now we need the system to shut the whole thing off when the buffer is full, which will happen quite quickly because these are going to be non-stackables so we need to have a comparator coming out and then redstone dust coming all the way around here we want it to go right the way there and the length of this should be 13. Reason for that is it will fill it all the way up and it will stop on this one here 13 Signal strength of 13 will actually take you to, I think, here, but it'll pulse one more time. So that way this barrel never gets completely full, which means that you're not going to have any flint and steel kind of shooting out on 
either sides and all that. So it keeps it all safe. So we have this redstone line that goes through to here and that's the build complete. We just need a way to get the items in. So the way we do it, we put a shulker of iron on one and a shulker of flint on the other and to make sure that we don't make mistakes, we want to put an item frame on each of these hoppers. We're going to call that one iron and that one flint. Doesn't matter which one you do, just as long as it's always the same one so that you have it in here. So I always have, so it comes down here, I always have the ability to come up in there and you want to put I have flint in one, flint in the other, and you just use your right click or whatever to disable that. So we're gonna have that situation going on. And then for demonstration purposes, we will do that. And when these get filled up sufficiently, you'll see the farm activate. So let's sit here and wait until it fills up. And there we go, both of the torches are off. The clock has started, it is crafting, and it is crafting once it hits there, turns off everything, and the farm stops, which is exactly what we want. So then, as you're using the farm, you're going to be going through some flint and steel. Let's throw that out real quick to simulate it going down in and being used, and then it'll craft until it has filled up and we're all sorted sometimes it'll go one more sometimes one less it's all good main thing is to have this buffer in place let me know in the comments if you found this useful like and subscribe to see more technical minecraft videos and i'll see you in the next one